Hey guys, today I am filming a review on the new Clarisonic foundation brush head. If you guys have not seen it, which you probably have if you're into the makeup community, there's a new brush head that you put on a Clarisonic device and it vibrates your makeup on essentially. I always thought Clarisonics were a spinning brush head before I had one. I got one last year in the Face Awards and I was surprised when it didn't spin. I don't know why, I just, I just always thought they spun. They do not spin, they just vibrate. But I'm gonna give one a shot today. Clarisonic was kind enough to send this to me. This video is not sponsored. They did not ask me to make it. All they did was ask if they could send me their brush for me to try and they don't even know I'm making this video so hey Clarisonic so this is the box that I received it's got the Clarisonic Mia 2 here a regular Clarisonic brush head and then the foundation brush head here so this is the little guy that I will be testing today. It came with a little package insert here and I'm gonna see what it says here on it. It says, compatible with all Clarisonic cleansing devices, which is nice if you already have a Clarisonic, then you can use it with the one that you've already got. Step two, apply foundation or contour to skin. For a full coverage foundation look, dab your favorite liquid foundation onto desired, desired, ha, onto desired areas of the face. Or if you'd like to contour, apply a dark shade along the jawbone, jaw blah. Have I ever read in my life? Along the jawline and hollows of the cheeks, add a light shade to the high points of the face. So basically contour and highlight, we get it. Start your Clarisonic at its lowest speed, adjusting to your application preference. Plef Somebody, if you're a teacher, send me back to school. I need help. Adjusting to your application preference. For foundation, gently move the device in a circular motions, starting at your cheeks, 20 seconds each, transitioning to your forehead, then nose and chin area, 10 seconds. No pressure is necessary, just let the brush wavy fibers gently float across your skin. If using a thicker formulation, adjust the speed of the device, and it claims to have better coverage, the brush uses patented oscillation technology to generate more than 18,000 micro blends per minute. Fine. Gently buffing skin to create a smooth, full coverage airbrush look. Less waste. Specifically designed, non-porous fibers prevent fiber clumping and reduce waste of precious foundation. I know how the foundation L'Oreal Pro Glow performs because I use this every single day. So I'm going to use this to test out the Clarisonic device. I'm gonna apply less than I normally would to kind of see how it works. I don't have bad skin as you can tell. I don't really have acne or anything. I have one pimple here and one here. So there's not much to cover, but I do like a flawless base. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. I always apply it with my beauty blender on other areas of my face. So lately I have been applying my foundation for about the last four days with my Furless Cosmetics CB2 brush. And this gives a very flawless foundation finish. I do find that most of the times when I apply foundation with a brush, I can just see streaks. It doesn't look flawless to me. But with this, it does, especially if I use like dabbing motions like this, which almost eliminates the point of a brush. I feel like a brush is for doing this, but you know. So I am going to give this puppy a shot. I know how much Pro Glow I typically need to use. That should be enough to completely cover that side of my face, if not even for more. So let's give it a shot. I'm using no pressure whatsoever. A couple little pieces coming out. Oh, it tickles on my nose, oh my god. Okay, so I think it wanted me to do my whole face in that amount of time, and that, that ain't happening. So as you can see, I did have some stragglers. I had some fallout on my bristles. I mean, let's give it another go. Okay. So you can see how it applied the foundation to my face. It looks nice. I do need a little more coverage down here because I have redness at the bottom of my cheeks, always have. Um, it looks flawless. It looks really nice. It's almost unbearable on my nose. <laughs> and my nose did not get the coverage that I typically like. Uh, my nose is always my problem area. It's just a little bitch. For some reason, it doesn't like to hold foundation. I hate that about it. I 
do feel that that was a little more time than I would typically spend on my foundation. I'm gonna give the other side of my face a go to see how that works. I mean, it clearly looks flawless. I don't know if that has anything to do with the brush more than it does that the foundation is just really good. And it wants me to move on to other areas of my face faster than I am too. Like it, it's beeping at me and telling me like, hurry up. And I'm like, I can't. All right, so let's give it another go. I'm try to go faster now. How do I feel about this? I'm gonna do my entire face and then I'm gonna give my full thoughts on it because I don't know yet. Like there's definitely areas that need more coverage, but that would happen with my regular foundation brush. I do find that it gets into areas that you wouldn't think it would be able to. Like you almost feel like that brush head is too big, but it fit right between my eyebrows. It fit on the side of my face nicely, got up into the contours of my hairline nicely. My nose has some streaks. So I'm gonna conceal specific areas of my face with my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. The coverage is really nice on this. It's also nice and creamy. I'm so indecisive. I don't know if I like it or not. We're gonna see. Now, I don't normally cream contour ever. I hate cream contour. For the sake of this video, I will give it a shot. This is a warm color, but my eyes are really warm, so I'm gonna warm up my complexion, especially because I feel like I'm looking a little blah right now. So this is the NYX Wonder Stick, and I'm gonna toss a little bit of this in the contours of my face. This is how we're really gonna be able to tell how this blends. Okay, <laughs> that blended like a fucking dream. I hate how quickly it stops. You have to restart it. It's not that bad, because I mean, all you have to do is push a button, but I kind of hate how it tells me how long I have. I do understand that's for washing your face though. So for cream contouring, that was more like cream bronzing, I suppose. I feel like it blended that out way easier than it would take me with a brush or a beauty blender, but it blended that out super nicely. You can see like the gradient is really nice. I'm also going to apply cream highlight with this. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. I know mine looks fucked up, but this is in the shade Sunlight. I don't use this this often because I feel like it's really difficult to blend out, and maybe this is the answer that I've been looking for, is this Clarisonic brush. So I'm gonna apply it onto my cheeks. Hmm. 
Um, that's a lot of highlight. <laughs> I don't know if this looks great. Let me kind of pat that out a little bit because I feel like that's looking intense. I used way too much highlight, way, 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 way too much highlight um, because I typically need that much because it kind of blends away. Now, it this did not. I overestimated how much I would need. I'm gonna go apply the rest of my makeup, some powder bronzer and um, my lips and you know everything and I'll be right back. So I finished my makeup in the other makeup tutorial. If that video is not up yet, it will be up soon again. So keep an eye out for that. If it is, I will link it right up here. But I finished the rest of my makeup. All I did was put on the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion and some lip products. So it's not like I added a lot to it. This is pretty much all exactly what I did with the Clarisonic. So my final thoughts on the Clarisonic makeup brush head thing. I think I like it. My foundation looks pretty freaking flawless. No, it looks really flawless. My favorite thing about it, honestly, was blending out contour and highlight. I have not been able to use the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops because when I try to blend them out with my fingers, a brush, or a beauty blender, the beauty blender soaks up all the product and it starts looking really patchy and weird, and it doesn't give this wet effect as it did with the Clarisonic. The Clarisonic blended it like a freaking dream. I used way too much product, so it ended up being almost too much. I love a really glowy complexion, so this did that. This also blended out contour like I've never had my contour blended out before. Again, I don't typically do cream contour, but I think I will now because of this. It was a really nice base. I didn't need to use as much of my Makeup Forever product, and honestly, it just looks really good. My skin looks freaking flawless, and it was really easy. I really like it. If you already have a Clarisonic, I'd say get the foundation brush head. It's really good. I was expecting not to like it, to be honest, because it almost seemed a little gimmicky to me at first. I was like, why would we need that? But it just sort of melts the product into your skin. It just sort of works. And I really didn't think it was going to. So, so my final thoughts, do I think it's worth it? Yeah. I don't know if it's necessarily be worth it to buy an entire Clarisonic just for this, but if you want a good cleanser for your skin, and you're gonna get one anyway, it's definitely nice. It's really soft, it tickles like almost unbearably on my nose and it made me sneeze. Is that a reason not to get it? No. I give it two thumbs up. I think it was really good and I think that, I think I will use it again, especially if I wanna do like a cream product look, especially for like Instagram videos or something where I do like all the cream contouring and things like that. I wanna give cream contouring and highlighting more of a chance too because I don't give it a shot because again, in the past with brushes and my beauty blender, it just doesn't work for me the way that it does for other people. Well, thank you so much Clarisonic for sending it to me. I really appreciate it and I'm glad you did because now I have this awesome product that I can try. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. It lets me know what you guys like to see. If you like these reviews, please let me know. Also, if you guys have not yet, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put up new videos all the time. Also, you can follow me on all my other social media stuff if you want to stay up to date with me and know what's going on outside of just these YouTube videos. I post life stuff there, like especially on my Snapchat and my Instagram stories. So if you guys are not following there, make sure you do. All right, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye!